All the talk right now might be about Saudi billions, but it certainly pays to be good at golf on the PGA Tour, with millions of dollars on the line every week. Throw in a lucrative pot of gold for winning the season-long FedEx Cup race, and life on this circuit can prove to be very rewarding indeed. That has certainly proven the case for the top 10 career money leaders in PGA Tour history. Let's start at number 10 and work our way down. Matt Kuchar comes in at number 10 with a cool $53,266,130. Let's just hope his standing caddy at Mayakoba doesn't see that. Anyway, that's for another day. Kucha has won nine times in total on the PGA Tour, with his first victory coming at the 2002 Honda Classic and his last at the 2019 Sony Open in Hawaii. It's fair to say Kucha's best golf is behind him now at the age of 43, and he will no doubt be a little frustrated to have never won a major championship, having come so close down the years, especially when losing out to Jordan Spieth at the 2017 Open. Next up at number nine on the list is Europe's all-time points scorer, Sergio Garcia, winner of 11 PGA Tour titles and a current PGA Tour earnings of $53,826,259. A fresh-faced Garcia first burst onto our TV screens when running Tiger Woods close to the 1999 US PGA Championship. Garcia has gone years without tasting a major victory, going extremely close at both the US PGA and Open Championship, but the Spaniard managed to finally achieve his dream when defeating Justin Rose in a playoff for the 2017 Masters. It's fair to say Garcia has been one of the hotheads in the PGA Tour down the years, but since becoming a father in recent years, he certainly seems to have mellowed somewhat. Now at number eight, it's England's Justin Rose, winner of 10 PGA Tour titles and of course the 2018 FedEx Cup, which has resulted in career earnings on the PGA Tour of $56,276,812. Rose first burst to worldwide prominence as a fresh-faced 17-year-old when holding out from 50 yards for birdie on the 18th hole at the 1998 Open Championship at Royal Birkdale. He won the silver medal that week and the next day turned professional. Despite missing an incredible 21 consecutive cuts on the European Tour, and ultimately losing his card, Rose bounced back and started to become a regular winner on the circuit. Rose won four times on the European Tour before he picked up his first win on the PGA Tour at the 2010 Memorial Tournament with a three-shot victory over Ricky Fowler. Winning quickly became a habit for Rose and it led to his greatest moment when landing the 2013 US Open with a two-shot win over Jason Day and Phil Mickelson at Merriam. At number seven, we have Australia's Adam Scott, the man with the smoothest golf swing the game has potentially ever seen. Scott, now 41, has accumulated a cool $57,424,999 on the PGA Tour, having won 14 times on the circuit, with his first coming back at the 2003 Deutsche Bank Championship. His greatest moment came at Augusta when winning the 2013 Masters, but if truth be told, we feel Scott should have won a couple more majors, none more so than when throwing away that claret jug down the stretch to Ernie Els in 2012. A man that needs no introduction at number six is Rory McIlroy, who comes in with $59,274,984 on the PGA Tour. Despite doing just about everything in the sport, getting to world number one, winning four majors and clinching two FedEx Cup titles, you could argue that McIlroy has seriously underachieved in his career, and no doubt many of you would agree. McIlroy is still only 32 years old, so has plenty of time on his side to slip on that green jacket he so desperately craves in order to join an elusive group of players to win the career Grand Slam. Will he do it this year? We certainly hope so, but we can see it happening at some point in time. We also fully expect to see Rory end up moving quickly up this list. At number five, we have the big Fijian Vijay Singh, winner of 34 PGA Tour titles, including three majors and the 2008 FedEx Cup. Now 58 and applying his trade on the PGA Tour champions, Singh managed to chalk up a huge $71,236,216 on the PGA Tour. Singh, who was the leading money winner on the PGA Tour in 2003, 2004, and 2008, became world number one for the first time in his career in 2004. In at number four, we have Jim Furyk, winner of 17 titles on the PGA Tour, including the 2010 FedEx Cup. Furyk might have one of the most bizarre golf swings we've ever seen, but it has certainly worked down the years and it just goes to prove there is no one way to play golf. Let the American be an example to many of you out there. Furyk has won $71,507,269 and is the only player in PGA Tour history to shoot 58 in competition, and he's also shot around 59. In at number three, we have Dustin Johnson, who is still going strong on the PGA Tour with 24 wins and counting. Johnson has amassed a whopping $72,687,258 on the PGA Tour, and still at the age of 38, we feel he has every chance of going on to finish this list at number two. Johnson has won two 
two major titles at the 2016 US Open and the 2020 Masters, and he also won the 2020 FedEx Cup. We can see Johnson easily winning more than 30 times on the PGA Tour before all is said and done, and that would more than likely see him surpass the $100 million mark in career earnings. At number two is perhaps one of the most controversial figures in all of golf right now, Phil Mickelson. While he probably doesn't care how much he's actually won on the PGA Tour, we can inform Phil he's won $94,955,060 in career earnings on PGA Tour. Mickelson has won an incredible 45 times on the PGA Tour, including six majors, with the highlight of his career coming last year when becoming golf's oldest major champion at the 2021 US PGA. And in at number one, no doubt to everyone's surprise, is Tiger Woods, winner of a record tying 82 PGA Tour titles and an unbelievable $120,851,706 in PGA Tour earnings. Woods has of course won 15 majors, with his first major victory coming in a record-breaking Masters romp in 1997 and his last, of course, at the 2019 Masters against all the odds. Woods is currently on the sidelines, as we all know, recovering from serious leg injuries sustained in a car crash 12 months ago. Pleasantly, he just said he will return to the PGA Tour at some point in time. While the timescale is yet unknown, it will be great to have Tiger Woods back on the PGA Tour and hopefully adding to his $120 million total. Woods said he is ready for the fight and that he wants to go another few rounds. I don't think there will be one dry eye in the house should Woods go on to land that 83rd PGA Tour title. That might be a lot to ask, but can you imagine? Catch us next time for another top 10.